So what is going on, everybody? This is David, a.k.a. The Jumbo Bunny, bringing you my very, very first game of Destiny multiplayer, hitting up the Crucible this time. And really, this video is going to be pretty much exactly 15 minutes. You know why? It's because 15 minutes is all the PlayStation will record at a single time. And so it actually cuts off right at the very very end so when it cuts off a little uh, a little prematurely don't get upset you've seen the whole match trust me you're gonna be watching me bumble and stumble through this one this is my very very first crucible match I would played a ton of first play you know single player and playing with buddies so uh, but this was my first real foray into the multiplayer so not really all that important what we are gonna be talking about today is the time that I was violated now don't let me confuse you don't let me uh, don't misinterpret this as making fun of or anything like that anyone that's had any issues you know this is not meant to be insensitive it's there's just only so many ways I can uh, I can explain this and I'll, I'll tell you why I really had a lot of uh, trepidation about what I was actually gonna call this particular video uh, it, I, it was the time I was molested uh, the time I was violated, or just flat out the vacation from hell. I thought this might be a humorous story. It cracks everybody up when I tell everybody. It's at my expense, trust me. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing with you. But this actually starts out in the picturesque little town of Hot Springs, Arkansas. My wife and I had planned a nice little vacation there. And so we, we show up, and we actually get there a little bit early. My wife had actually made an appointment for us to go to a spa. And so I was pretty stoked about it. I'm like, man, we were driving five hours, and it's a little bit of a haul to get to, uh, to Hot Springs. And so when we got there, we couldn't check into our hotel room. We were there early. So we just said, well, we've already got our appointment at the health spa. Let's, uh, let's go, and we'll, we'll, we'll go see what's happening at the health spa. And when you, if you've ever been to Hot Springs before, there's a long line of, like, uh, the main drag in town. Right along there, there are all these old bathhouses from the er late 1800s or early 1900s. And we were actually going to one of the traditional spas, as I was told. I wasn't really sure exactly what that meant uh, when someone said traditional spa. I was thinking, of course, you know, the, the, the modern day spa. However, if you've ever seen the movie, it's a it's actually an old 90s like mid 90s Matthew Broderick movie called The Road to Wellville. If you're un unsure about what I'm talking about, go look that up and see if you can see some pictures. You kind of get an idea. And we show up and you know, it's kind of the typical experience. Men go one way, women go the other. So basically the your experience, you're not doing this together. Some spas allow you to to be together. This particular spa, the men and the women did their whole spa experience separately. So my wife went one way, I went the other. And of course, here we go into the, the awkward, okay, we're going to need you to disrobe, put your clothes in this, uh, this locker, and, uh, you know, we need you to, to, to disrobe and put on one of our little robes. So I said, great, okay, you know, it's... I, I, I've been in the locker rooms before, I've, you know, played sports and things, so I'm not, not a big deal. So take off, uh, take off my clothes, put on their little little robe or gown, and then you go into this big main room, or you're led into this big main room, and it's basically, it's like full of tubs and little steam machines and and all these like old school like porcelain tubs and stuff like that. And so he said, well, we need you to take your robe off. I said, all right, I just put it on, but all right. And he said, well, you need you to get into this bath. And so there was a big bathtub, a big giant claw-footed bathtub. And so I climb into the bathtub. I'm like, all right, well, this is cool. And uh, it's it's nice and you no know, hot bath. And so I'm, I'm like, yeah, cool. You know, this is going to be nice and relaxing after driving, you know, five, six hours to hot springs. It didn't turn out that way, unfortunately. So I'm sitting there. And all of a sudden, this older guy, he's probably in his, you know, early 60s, comes up and he said uh, that his name was Willie. And Willie, uh, he, he was, uh, like I said, quite an older guy, and he talked with a real gruff voice. And Willie goes, give me your leg. And I said, excuse me? And he said, give me your leg. And I look up, and he's holding a loofah. 
So Willie going underneath commences me. to scrubbing my raised leg out of the tub. Of course, I'm completely naked. Then he goes, give me your other leg. And he does that, and it's completely uncomfortable to this point. And then he walks around behind me. And then he goes, lean forward. And I lean forward, Yo. and Willie caressingly scrubs my back yeah, with the loofah. I was pretty much mortified by this point, and I was, I was hating my wife and hating my life at this point. So you finish that. Of course, they give you a, you're sitting in this tub. They give you a glass of like cold spring water, and that was cool. And then they're like, all right, well, we're going to take you to the, the steam locker. So the steam locker is, if you've ever seen uh, Thunderball, a James Bond movie, there, he's actually, he gets in this big box, and they put you in there, and your head is sticking out of the top, and man, they crank that thing down, I mean, or crank that thing up, and it just starts to cook you like a, you know, like a Christmas ham. And I'm sitting there, and they leave you in there for 15 minutes. 15 minutes of barely being able to breathe with all that steam, and so I'm just so uncomfortable. And then, of course, Willie takes me out of the, the steam locker right about the time I'm about to pass out, and he takes me over, and, like, you lay down on these, like, cots, and then Willie commences to giving me a rub down with just completely naked, only covered up with... Uh, little small like terry cloth towels all right and now he goes we're gonna go to the sitz bath and i'm like way okay Where so you go at? over oh. and the sitz bath is basically you have to squat in the sitz bath now when you squat down in the sitz bath it's like you, you literally have your, your knees There's up above your back, shoulders though. and you're sitting in this tub of hot water. And you're you're it's it's the most uncomfortable and awkward position you can so possibly be that, in. And then I'm going, wrong. you know, gosh, there's there's only so many ways I can I can have my life ruined at this point. And then he goes, Well and this has been probably forty five minutes or so. And so he goes, now we're, we're going to take you and we're going to get you, uh, get you to your massage. And I'm like, hell yeah, the massage. I didn't know we were booked for a massage. And, and he goes, all right, well, you know, let's, let's go in here and, you know, we're, we'll, we'll take you into the massage, the smart, the massage room. And so, you know, you go in and you sit down and in walks in this dude. I was like, I never had a massage by a guy, you know, this, all right, well, cool. I've always, it's always been like really, you know, like uh, like older women that have typically been the one doing the massage. So I sit down or I lay down. And this guy, for one, you're trying to have a massage. You want to relax. You're ready to just let things go. Let all the worries of the day drift away and have someone give you a massage and let you relax. Well, I end up walking up and are having this guy commence to trying to like, tell me about his life story and asking me all sorts of questions about where I'm from and oh my, my you know my sister lives here and what do you like about Houston and I hear Texas is great and blah 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 and it was obnoxious so obnoxious but that's not the worst part about my massage I hit him after he finishes with the typical like shoulder massage, low back massage, he starts, basically, you, he gets, he's doing all this from the side, so I'm laying down, you know, picture him, he's standing at my side, giving me, like, leg massage, lower leg massage, upper back, and stuff like that, well, then, he goes, well, we're gonna start on the, on the lower back, and kind of deep tissue stuff, I'm like, uh, all right, so, he gets on the, at the head of the table, where basically where my head is located, facing down. My head's facing down towards the floor. And he commences to standing over the top of my head, and he kind of moves his hands down from the top of my shoulders down to the, back, like the bottom of my back, my lower back. And when he does that, his junk... 
be it put it in the lightest his junk lightly starts to smash my forehead or actually the top of my head and I kind of try to maneuver a little bit and he goes oh you, you you've moved down too far you have to, to scoot back up and so he commences to rubbing my my back and my lower back and really getting in there but when he's getting in there every single time he leans forward his junk kind of slightly smacks me on the top of the head and i'm at this point i don't know if i have any pride or i don't exactly know where my head is at at this point aside from being on this dude's crotch apparently but no I, i'm just i'm just so mortified and weirded out by the whole situation that i'm just kind of taken aback and at this point i'm kind of like oh fuck it <laughs> at this point i'm going you know hey i have been i've been violated enough and at this point my level of fucks given basically sat at about zero and all i wanted to do was have that l that little our little moment that we were having to end and so finally after about 30 45 minutes of massage it was time to leave so of course i make my way completely defeated in all facets of my life at this point to the lobby of the uh, the spa i'd already changed and got all my clothes back and gone through all that whole deal so i'm sitting in the lobby and remember this appointment was made for me i didn't make this appointment myself so i'm sitting there in the lobby and i can't i, I mean i'm i'm between the level of pissed mortified embarrassed and, and just wanting to laugh hysterically just at all the crap that I had been through while I was in there. And so when my wife comes out, she looks like a million bucks. She is so relaxed and chill and everything is right with the world. And she looks at me. She takes one look at me and she says, oh shit, what happened? <laughs> I didn't have to say anything. I was like, I, I, I think I, I think I was just violated. And so I got to tell her the whole story. And she was just sitting there laughing her ass off. This is why you get married. It's because so, you have someone readily available to laugh yeah, with you and just, at you don't even worry about at all guy. times. So we sit there and we, and, and you know, eventually it's, it's funny. It's funny. It's hilarious. It's who has these types of stories, but this, this apparently was the great way to, to kick off our vacation. And the, the rest of the trip was awesome. She even made it up for, it made it up to me, uh, by taking me to actually some uh, modern God, spas even, hey, where I'm, I was a little gun shy to go in. And so for the rest of the time we were there, I'm like, this isn't going to be a traditional spa. Willie's not going to be working there, is he? And so we actually go in and we do, we spend an awesome rest of our time in, in hot springs. I'm not going to mention any names of any places because, you know, they are, that, that's what those places are. I just didn't know that's what it was. I was a little in the dark on things, I think. Uh, but you know, I'm not going to mention any names of locations or anything like that. Just, you know, I don't want to ruin anybody's business. That's, that's what they do. Um, it just wasn't quite what I was expecting. And so this was actually, you know, I wanted to, to wrap up and, and tell you about my little, my little mishap, my little, uh, my little holiday, my little vacation mishap. I thought you'd probably find it funny if you if you took the time to listen, and I hope you did enjoy the the gameplay. I remember this was you have to give me some some leeway. This was my first go around with this game, and and it was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I'll bring I'll be bringing you a lot more Destiny multiplayer where I'm gonna actually be digging down into what I think of the multiplayer coming up, and I'll I'll actually be doing a nice little video about my review of Destiny as a whole. So everybody, this is your boy Jumbo Bunny. And I am signing off. Later, taters. You've got ten seconds. I got the guy on the pike.
We'll be right back.